So one game that always went over my head and I always come back to here and there is Left 4 Dead 2. I played this game a lot with my cousin growing up and to this day I think he actually still has it for his Xbox but I'm not too sure about that. But for me I own it on PC and I play the crap out of this game sometimes when I have a free chance to you know just go back and just mess around for a few hours and that's exactly what I did with the gameplay that you guys are seeing. I was recording for quite a bit. I would have posted my Fallout 76 five years later video today but unfortunately I am pretty dumb and I was recording my gameplay at the worst quality possible so I'm gonna have to delay that video a little bit not too much longer but I'm gonna have to go back and record some gameplay which kind of sucks but it is what it is. But Left 4 Dead 2, man, what can I say? This game is a masterpiece in my eyes. Playing with three other people, either cooperatively or with AI, is just one hell of a time to play because there is zombies to kill. Now, for me personally, my background around the game is I think I just remember going to my grandmother's house and playing the game with my cousin, who's pretty young at the time, but my brother was actually the one who introduced them into the game because they had gotten it. I can't remember if it was for a holiday or what the occasion was, but I remember them picking it up and me going to my grandmother's house and playing it here and there. I was never really a fan of the game at the time because I thought it was pretty boring just playing and playing and playing the same thing again and again. And revisiting it almost 15 years later kind of hit me because, man, I'm getting older and... The games I once played as a child or in my teens really had a big impact on my life. You know, there would be things that we would be going through just as individuals and we would just want an escape from reality. And, you know, one of those games would be Left 4 Dead and also just other games in general. But Left 4 Dead 2, I remember just going to my cousin's house and playing it a lot with my cousin. And my cousin is one of my best friends. But this game, just picking up weapons, killing zombies, it's so easy and it just has that replayability every time I wanna go back and play. If I wanna pick up a different weapon, if I wanna go guns blazing, if I wanna go in with a melee weapon, I can do that. I have to be very smart with my resources, my grenades, my health, because as much as the zombies don't really kill you that fast, there are different types of zombies that do kill you really, really quick if they get their hands on you. The funniest thing about us playing most of the time when we're younger is that he wanted to be the zombie while I wanted to be the survivor or we would switch off every chance we got but playing as a zombie in the game was honestly kind of different for the time. I mean I don't remember a lot of games at that moment that really let you play as a zombie and I remember Left 4 Dead was actually like one of the first games that let you play as it. And which is mind blowing to this day, I don't think a lot of games let you play as a zombie. And you know, I know there's Dying Light, I know there's Back for Blood, but honestly, when I play Left 4 Dead, it hits different knowing that this game really came before all of that. And when it came to survival, I don't really think that's a mode that I really like to dive into. And the reason was, it was just kind of boring. I don't really like survival modes or survival games in general, where I have a timer to see how long I can survive. Maybe different type of survival games where to see how long I can last by finding resources and stuff like that. Those games are I'm into, but I think at the time I really didn't enjoy that mode in Left 4 Dead because it was just really boring. But coming back and revisiting it and playing that mode specifically, because uh, I wanted to see if I changed any opinion on it or just any feelings had changed, I honestly still felt the same. I mean, to me, the mode was just kind of boring. Me and my cousin really didn't play this too much. I think the most we would just do is just play the zombie mode because it was just more fun. I mean, this mode wasn't bad and all. I just didn't really enjoy it compared to the others. Playing Left 4 Dead 2 was such a nostalgic trip for me. I forgot how fun I've had playing this game and the amount of fun that I had when I was a kid playing this game. Going to my cousin's house and playing this game every other weekend, every chance I had was honestly a blast and I'm never gonna get those memories again, you know? I'm never gonna be that little 10 year old kid who got to go to my cousin's house, spend time with my grandmother and my grandfather and play, you know? It was such a great time in my life. 
And, you know, now that I'm 21, things are changing. Everything around me is getting older, you know. And it's just a sad fact to admit. And I think everybody in life is going to have to come to those terms. All right, but to send off this video with a good note, I don't want anyone to be sad. I just wanted to make this video to kind of shed some light on this game. And like, you know, hey, if you have the game, pick it up, you know, go play it. Play games that you haven't played in quite a while because... And you don't know that next moment that you're gonna get to play. Things happen. And honestly, I cherish every moment that I get with games because games are a big part of my life and they were a big part of my childhood. And this is definitely one of those games. But uh, to send off this video with a good note, I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys for watching. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one.